Hey guys, David Nailbuster. Uh, I made a uh, easy, I guess, package here to get started with making animated PNGs. Uh, animated PNGs are uh, going to be the preferred method for uh, animating your popper wheels. Um, so uh, what I I made a zip file. This is the contents of the zip file you're going to have. Uh, standard wheel. There's a little mask to cut out from videos. Um, and there's a little open source utility called screen to gif that's a great little utility and ffmpeg we know what that is for conversion um, okay so that's in the zip now what are you going to need uh, two things to make a simple animated png better than gifs they're animated png you're going to have a wheel overlay i just made one quickly that's uh transparent 32 bit and then you're going to have some sort of video in the background uh, it auto scales but really you want to make sure your uh, the video is going to fit in the wheel uh, don't worry about, you can make it rectangle, just it, it will automatically mask out the circle for you. Uh, so the names are important. It'll make it easier for the batch files to work with. So I'm going to just copy that into, just put it into the root here. Um, okay, now there's two ways to do it. There's the, let's call it the cheap way. It's for you, you to use locally. It makes big files. That's just ANG output. If you double click on that, um, it will just create... A file for you it'll be done the problem is is it's not optimized it's gonna be bulky it'll be like, like this example here um, I believe uh, it takes a while in this but uh, they think it's like 35 megabytes it's just way too big you should you really want to keep things down 15 megabytes and 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 less so um, this one ended up being uh, it makes an output .ap APNG. Now, if you double click on APNG, it's going to say, what do you want to open it with? Just select Chrome. It's the easiest player. Uh, this will be um, transparent, the background, but you'll notice it's alpha blended. And that, that's nice. I mean, this is not a real a good video to use, but I just uh, showing you as an example. So 35 giga, uh, megabytes, uh, a bit too big there. Um, so uh, the proper way to do this um, is to use the other batch file called frames output. Now that will output everything into a folder. So I'm just going to double click on it. Uh, it'll do its thing automatically. Pause, just make sure there's no errors, hit a key. And look, it made a, a subfolder automatically called popper output. And that made all 75 frames for you in PNG. So I'm just going to go back up. Uh, because this is a working one, I'm just going to rename this to uh, AFM work. All right, so now that we have AFM work, we have all the frames uh, and we have our wheel overlay. So now we're going to use this little cool free utility. This thing is awesome. You can actually record from the screen, webcam board. We're just going to go into editor. Okay, so the editor, simple enough. Get familiar with this, but I mean, it's pretty easy. We're going to hit load. Uh, we're going to go to AFM work. Now you have all of these. So I'm just going to go uh, select the first one and then hit control A. That will load all of them and just hit open. Um, now this will import all those frames and look, it just it made them all there. Is this the little utility is cool? So up here, I'm just gonna go to playback and I can hit play. And yeah, it made the cool and it'll auto loop for you and everything. So now that's cool. And you can pause on any frame you wanna go to. Easy. All right, and there's other stuff you can do here. You can reduce quality and all this stuff, but really what I'll, I just want to do is go into images and go watermark. And you want to make sure the opacity is 100, scales 100. You want to select, and we want to do our our wheel overlay. It should come out, of, because it's 500, if you're using the standard Tarsicio wheel, then it should just cover it perfectly. Um, now you want to hit apply here. Problem is with apply, it'll just do that one frame. So we're just going to click here and go control A. So now the watermark overlay, let's call it, is going to be on all of them. Hit apply. And there you go. You made, made your angle playback. And there's our attack from Mars. So um, cool. That's it. It's ready to be exported. I'll just give you an idea. I'm going to go hit File, Save As. Now, this is where you, you really want to make sure everything's set up. Well, it'll save its settings, but you want to make sure you're on Animated PNG here. It does a whole bunch of other stuff, but you want to do APNG. 
Uh, you want to keep it not as FFmpeg, you want to keep it there. Encoder, screen to gift. You want to loop APNG, you want to repeat forever. That's always two, I don't know why, but you want to leave those. Uh, you want to keep these, you make sure detect unchanged pixels and paint unchanged. You want to make sure those are checked. Uh, if you have extra options, you can expand it, uh, save file, a folder of your choice, overwrite it, it's nice. And that's it. And then you can select where you want to put it and the file name, and you want to make sure it's APNG here. I just put dot with a thing so it'll be the current folder. And then you just hit save. And then you'll notice it just made a little output. I'll hit the little folder icon. It'll bring up where it saved it. And that's the one. So it did, uh, that's the one it did. So if I click on that, what's this? Yeah, look, 5.8 megabytes as opposed to 35. And you probably won't see a difference. It just works just as well. Okay, um, the other things, the batch file for frame output, you can edit it. It's already, all this is all done for you. But the other things here, time, five seconds. If you take out the time, it'll do the entire video. Don't worry about all the stuff that I figured out here. Um, right now it's set to R15. R15 is the actual frames per second. You can play with that, but don't go crazy with 30 frames. You want to actually probably go lower for 10 frames. Y is to overwrite. And uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, that's uh, that's what it does. So we have uh, all that for you, and that's that. I mean, obviously, there's other utilities like Adobe Photoshop. I'm sure can do a lot more fancier stuff that we've seen. But now we have like a really cool animated thing. Uh, the other thing is, if you're doing it for groups like playlists, uh, you shouldn't be using this. This is this is thin. The thin border one for Tarsicio style is for games. Uh, the thicker border one is for uh, playlists. You know, if you're doing groups like VPX and stuff like that. All right, then that's uh, that's it for now. See you later.